On the phone, Matt Simmons, founder of the Ocean Energy Institute. What do you know about this cap, Matt? Well, Dylan, I think, I mean, the whole thing is just absurd. The, it, it all goes back to their, to their concept that all of the oil that's now killed the Gulf of Mexico is coming out of, out of, out of some cracks in the drilling riser, as opposed to the open hole several miles away that's still spewing 120,000 barrels a day of oil, toxic oil, into the Gulf of Mexico. And I think enough's enough. I think it's time for our government to tell them, no, get off the air, stop your advertisement, stop deceiving the public. Uh, and, and put the military in charge and send a submarine down and actually find the open hole so we at least know where it is. The government at this point seems to be working with BP, and I don't know if they even acknowledge the open hole that you're referencing. Well, they, the, the, uh, the, the senior uh, guy at the Los Angeles Times published a story last su week ago Sunday saying that he visited when, on Saturday afternoon with Secretary Chu and Secretary Salazar, and they showed him the, the sonar images they had of the, of the BOP that they finally located and the pieces of casing that had pierced through five stories. So I'm not sure why they haven't made that more public. I think maybe they're just confused that they don't want to alarm people because BP is so certain that it's all coming from the drilling riser. But it couldn't be a, a, a six-inch annular or seven-inch annular, even though it's a mile long, could not have basically covered the, the Gulf of Mexico with four to 500 feet of this toxic oil. Could not, period. But I guess the, the issue of acknowledging or denying the existence of the massive hole a few miles away as a result of the blowout. Well, if they acknowledged it, they'd go to jail and their fortunes would be over, so they can't. It's the big lie. But, so the, but are you suggesting the government is complicit in facilitating the lie, much as we saw with I, the financial I, I industry? I don't think they're intentionally doing it. I think they're just basically confused because so many people keep saying BP is such a good company. I'm being told by one of my people I respect most in Washington, D.C., who's been you know, a, a, a supporter of the oil and gas industry for 20 years, that uh, two-thirds of his friends there think this is a green conspiracy to, to tar a great company, BP. And that is so, baloney. So you're basically saying the, the denial and division and poison that has overtaken our political conversation and, more importantly, the...